Hey guys, here are the results of our last war with a clan from Iran. You can see they pretty much didn't show up. I don't know what was going on with them, but um, they had trouble at the top of the map and then just kind of stopped attacking. We did pretty well. We had these a lot of two stars, well five two stars. There's a 92, there's a 95, and then Kodo's two infamous 99 percents. But um, other than, you know, needing about an extra 10 percent to have a 45 star war, we did really well. So a couple comments and then we'll look just very briefly at about three attacks. So quickly I want to point out what we had in the war and what they had in the war. This is a nice fair war match. They had a couple more Town Hall 9s than we did, but then they had those very low level bases at the bottom of the map. This is the first time in a week or two that the Supercell algorithm has produced a fair war match where we did not face an engineered clan. And I'm going to start including this data in every video. I'm getting tired. I haven't done videos for a while because even when we win, the matches are so unbalanced because of the engineered bases that have gotten worse and worse and worse ever since Supercell claimed to have started fixing the problem. In this first raid, we'll look at Black Phoenix, bring in mass Valks on a Town Hall 9, Hog to lure the Clan Castle troops, get him up in the corner where his troops will be safe from the defenses, some wizards to take out the Clan Castle dragon and loons, and once that's done, Golem out of the Clan Castle to distract Wizards to set the funnel using the Wizards from the Kill Squad to do one half of the funnel. Nice wide funnel, no doubt at all. That That is a great funnel right there. There's no place for the troops to go but inside. Wall Breakers open it up. Valks go in. They melt right through these purple walls. Heal spell right in the middle where there are Expos and Giant Bombs. Another heal spell down on the south to keep those Valks at at or near full health. And so when they hit the remaining bombs, it does not wipe them out. And plenty of Alks left and both heroes as they finish off this base for a real nice three-star mass Valk attack. Our second raid will be Kalendorf bringing a stoned hobo. We're seeing more and more of these in our wars. They seem to work really well. Pretty set formula, two heals, one rage, one jump, a couple of poisons. The mix on wizards and hogs varies a little bit, but three golems, that's where stoned comes from. So good funnel set, everybody in the pool, you get poison, jump, rage, and heal, all basically right in the same little compartment. Hogs come in from one side or the other. Once the initial group of bowlers and heroes have cored the base, the hogs just go around. At some point you drop a heal spell on them to keep them at or near full health. And if the raid goes right, you've got plenty of troops. Your bowlers haven't gone right through the base. Hopefully at least one of your heroes is still up and plenty of hogs and wizards to finish it off. And the last attack for this video will be Ethan, who's a new Town Hall 10 three-starring another new Town Hall 10. Starts with a Queen Walk. Then he's going to bring Max Valks along with some Hogs and Wizards. Once his Queen's got one side of the funnel set, he uses his Golem and Wizards to set the other side of the funnel. Very quickly gets the Valks in. Uses Jump, Heal, Rage to get them through the core. You notice he got a nice early start on a queen walk. Sometimes people spend too much time watching that queen walk around the outside of the base and end up running out of time. He's got plenty of time left here. Spring traps throwing Valks, but there's still Valks in there doing work along with Hogs. This queen's going around the outside, cleaning things up, making sure that three star gets taken care of. There's only a couple defenses left. His king is still near full health. Golem's doing a great job of tanking. Not such a great job getting through a wall, because golems are not so good at that. But here comes the queen on the outside, the golem and the king, and a couple of Valks on the inside, and there goes the base.